to another video. My name is Vero Ann, and you can call me Ann for short. Today, as you can see, my husband Matthew is here. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to be helping me make a blueberry pie for one of his relatives. I thought it was a nice thing to do for the spring to make her a blueberry pie. Uh, we have all the ingredients here. And I'm going to have him do most of the work of creating the pie. And I'm going to just watch to make sure that he does everything as directed. Are you ready? I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, first things first. Uh, first thing is to grab an apron. I think I, I, think I need a towel. You don't even, it's not even on your waist. <laughs> what? You guys have towels. Do they have them in the shoulder? Yeah. It's near that Okay, so I'm going to have the ingredients in the video description box below. The recipe that I'm following calls for five cups of blueberries, but I think I'm using three because the pie pan is like eight inches. This is three cups of blueberries. Put it in there. Bam. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> and then half a cup of sugar. Mm-hmm. Watch oh. stuff right here. What do you think is next? I'm gonna say the lemon juice. Okay, how many, uh, what are the measurements for the lemon juice? I'm gonna say one tablespoon. Yes, one tablespoon of lemon juice. I know that. <clears throat> okay, and what is next? And then next, you're just probably gonna wanna just grab your spatula and stir it all up. Nope, you may see one more ingredient. What was that? Uh, no, this in the egg. What is around here? Am I missing this? Yes. Oh, okay. okay, so so you need one fourth of cornstarch, and I'm using Argo cornstarch. It's really good. I highly recommend it. Oh, oh, oh! Go <laughs> difficult, difficult, dude. Yeah. She didn't tell me that was going to happen. Hello. You want to toss it up, so it's like, tossed up. I forget someone will be eating this, so... <laughs> mm. Alright, so it looks like it's done. Bam! Yep. <laughs> so the next step is to now roll out our dough. It's been chilling in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes. We're going to roll it out. It's be really fun. And then put it into our pie pan and then finish up. Hello everyone, so I just got back from the store. I had to run to the store to grab some pie crust. <laughs> um, I bought my favorite Pillsbury uh, double pie crust. Um, I'm still in the process of learning how to make pie crust from scratch. And so since this pie is a gift to someone, I don't want to use bad pie crust that I'm practicing with or I'm still learning that process. I want it to be really nice and taste delicious. It's convenient as sometimes. So I'm going to go ahead and just now pour in the pie filling into the crust and pop it into the oven.
guys are done, so we're gonna give it a little test drive. Let's see what it tastes like. Like I mentioned, I did make a second little pie here in this little uh, pie pan I got from Pioneer Woman at Walmart, and they're really cute little pie pans. Anyway, though, so we're gonna go ahead and taste test the blueberry pie. This is my first time having blueberry pie. Right. I think so. I'm not a big fan of eating pies, as you guys may or may not know. Mm -hmm. I mentioned it before in some other videos of me making pie. I'm not a fan of eating pie. Are well, you? Let's try it. Okay. Cut it. Is it your first time eating blueberry pie? I've had blueberry cobbler. Catch but I don't know if I've had blueberry pie. <clears throat> Catcher is crying. He wants to go outside. So if you hear him meowing in the back, <laughs> that's just Catcher. Okay, let me grab a piece together. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Blueberry pie. It's flaky. Wow. Good crust. It's that Pillsbury crust that I use. It's good. Like the crust? Yeah, it's pretty good. Mmm. Tastes like blueberries on toast. <laughs> Say bye to you too. Catcher, say bye. Okay, no. Right. How was it? Mm -hmm. So thank you guys for coming along on our journey of creating our first blueberry pie together. His relative did say that she loved it. She was happy when we delivered it to her. Uh, her face lit up. So if you guys are interested in more of this content, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. I do post about homemaking and my new journey of being a new wife and new homemaker. I also offer tips and advice for new homemakers with biblical wisdom and how to become a wife for aspiring wives and homemakers as well. Along with lifestyle vlogs, go ahead and subscribe. Bye guys! See ya.